All right, we're going to do a short circuit here today. Three sets, 30 seconds of a squat, weighted or unweighted, 30 seconds of a left arm bent over row into a right arm bent over row. We'll just have a short rest in between exercises. Feel free to add any longer rest you need. And like I said, we'll do that for three sets. So let's go ahead and get into position. For the squat, feel free if you want to squat to a chair or a bench, you're welcome to it. I'm going to show it unassisted. Set those feet about hip width apart, slight toe out. And here we go. Just start nice and gradual, warming up that body, sinking down to that squat, reaching those arms out if you're not holding any weight to help encourage that chest to stay tall. Reaching out, grip those toes down, send those hips back. Very good, about halfway here. Control down, drive through your feet as you stand. Knees pushing out. Okay, and I like to keep those shoes off here as able, help activate the arch of the foot. And there's our 30 seconds. Moving into that bent over row, set the feet, again, about hip width apart. I'm gonna support one hand on the chair. Go ahead and grab the weight. If you have a kettlebell, you're gonna hold the top of the handle and go ahead and begin. Elbow comes straight up above that torso, pulling that belly button in to keep that low back flat, not arching the back here. And then focus your gaze. Once you know what you're doing, down at the hand. So lifting up out of that support shoulder. On the opposite side of the body, I'm gonna show it from a stagger stance. So if you don't have a bench nearby, you can use just your body weight to kind of get into position for that row. If you don't have any weights, either get creative with household items or just move your body as if. There's our 30. Go ahead and rotate. So for the opposite side, I'll show this stagger stance. Step in a right foot forward, left foot back, forearm on the thigh, reaching down, and here we go, elbow up. Down and up. Focus to keep that shoulder down out of the ears. Kind of wake up that shoulder blade, pull it in towards the spine and the top, building the strength that mid back. Chin in, nice smooth breathing. Reaching forward, pulling high. Breathe in as you reach. Exhale as you row. Good. Down, up, and relax. Fantastic. Shaking it out. We're just going to take 15 seconds, and then we're going to go straight into set two. So back to setting those feet. If you want to hold weight, you can hold a dumbbell underneath the chest. And here we go. Sitting back, still focused to control the depth. You can definitely move a little bit faster, but try not to just bounce in the bottom. So hips back, chest tall, breathe. Move through whatever range of motion is appropriate for your body. Chest straight up, eyes looking straight ahead. Get some good blood flow, especially if you've been sitting for a while today. Keep those hips moving. Two, one, and transition. Very good. Used opposite weights last time. So I'll go ahead and even out both arms. I'm starting on that right arm, whichever makes sense for you. Good support. And here we go. Elbow up, reaching forward. Breathe. Good job. Holding that midline strong. Down and pulling through. 10 seconds, pause in the top, squeeze and reach. Two, one, and transition. Good job. I'm gonna go back to my kettlebell on this opposite arm. So standing up, shaking it out for a second. If you wanna, if you're in that stagger stance, forearm on the thigh, two, one, here we go. Eyes looking straight ahead. You don't want to have that neck all funky in position. So pull that chin in, keep that head nice and stationary. Connect to that breathing. You want to really pull that elbow nice and high, get the most out of that range of motion. Reach down, pull up and in, down and rowing high. Good. Just one more set after this. Reach and row, two, one, and rest. Good. If you need a little bit longer rest, if you're on that recording, just press pause. Set those feet, nice tall chest. 
Getting ready for our final set of squats. Two, one, and here we go. Control the depth, stand smooth. Good job. And if you're more experienced, you know your body. Move faster. Staying tight, keeping that solid position. Good job. Pulling that belly button in. Very nice. Maybe one more. Two, one, and transition. Fantastic. Last time through on that bent over row. Standing tall. Place that hand for a wide handprint. Grip the fingers. And here we go. Straight up. Breathe in to reach. Exhale on the row. Reach and rowing through. Down and up. Good. Down, pulling through. Good job. Head neutral. Pausing in the top. Down, up and pause. Let's go one more. Squeeze and release. Fantastic. Final time, last arm. Three, two, one, and here we go. Head neutral. Reach and row. So we're helping that mid back strength improve that postural strength, keeping us standing up nice and tall, help how the shoulder blade sits on the rib cage. So you want, don't want it to sit forward on the rib cage. It tends to give us that rounded shoulder positioning. So we want it back and down, nice, broad, open chest. And two, one, all done. All right, folks, fantastic. Let's just get a little cool down here. Just rotating our body side to side. Let the breathing catch up. Very good. And then we're going to move into a side stretch. So get a little bit of bend in the knees. Heels are planted. Reach up to overhead. And we're going to bend to one side, stretching out that side body. Breathe in to lengthen. And exhale, taking it to the other side. Good. Let's go two times more. Side to side. Over. And up over. All right, last time. So you can get just a little bit farther, really reaching over your head with that top arm, back to center, and the other way. Good job. Shake those arms out. Feel free to step out the legs as well. Beautiful. And then quad stretch. You need to get a rope press pause, anything to grab your foot by all means. Lifting up out of the hip. You can do that side lying position as well. Pull that heel towards the glute, pull that shoulder back, and just nice and relaxed. We're gonna hold 20 seconds on each side. We'll call it a session. In our stretching, we wanna feel the stretch without wanting to grimace and cry like, oh my gosh, that's horrible. Go ahead and release. Same thing, other side. Grab that foot best you can. And pulling that heel towards your glute, which is just basically your butt. I'm a little stiff here today. Ideally, you want to be able to touch that heel towards the glute. And don't judge yourself if you're like, heck no, I can't even come close to that. Just do the best you can. And go ahead and relax there. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for showing up, moving your body. Hope to see you next time.